All right, in this podcast, I want to show you guys how to use the formula to solve an actual equation involving NPR. So once again, NPR, that is a given formula on your diploma formula sheet, and then that's the formula right there. So it does involve some factorials here. So in this example here, we want to solve for n in the equation np2 is equal to 110. So I'm arranging two objects at a time, and I want to find out from what set of objects am I actually arranging from. Um, so n will have to be greater than or equal to 2. It has to be greater than how many we're actually arranging here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up here. So I have npr is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial. So that's just simply the formula here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in what is given. So n, we don't know what that is. We know that we are arranging two objects because it's given in the actual equation. And, uh, and we could just go ahead and fill this in. So n factorial, we don't know yet. n uh, we'll just say n on the bottom there, minus r, which is actually a number now, 2 factorial. Now, this whole given expression on the right-hand side here, we know that this is going to be equal to 110. So that's just the last piece of my equation here. So 110 is equal to n factorial over n minus 2 factorial. So from here, what you want to do is go ahead and get rid of those factorials. So we're going to go ahead and simplify the right-hand side here. So once again, to simplify, you want to choose the bigger expression here. So um, quantity-wise, the top will be bigger. So to simplify it, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it here as a descending sequence all the way down to n minus 2 factorial because I want to cancel that out. So I have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. And I'm actually going to stop there so I can cancel out the n minus 2 on the bottom. So this works out quite nicely here. So the n minus 2 factorials will now cancel out. And what I have left here is an equation that looks like this. Um, 110 is equal to n times n minus 1. So you'll see here that we will have to solve a quadratic. Before I do that here, I'll expand the n. So n squared um, minus n. And then last step is to go ahead and bring everything to one side. So I'll bring the 110 over so I get n squared minus n um, minus 110. All right. So you'll see here, once we factor it using PSA, uh, we'll have a product of negative 110 and a sum of negative 1. Now, what numbers works here? Well, the two numbers here that could work here is 11 and 10, um, but one of them will have to be negative, and the one that will be negative is the bigger one because we want to create a negative 1 here. So here are my two numbers. Since this is PSA 1, we can just go ahead and write out our factors. So n minus 11 is one factor, and n plus 10 is the other factor. So let's go ahead and solve for each n value. We have an n value of 11, and we have an n value of negative 10. Now one of these is going to be considered extraneous. So remember, we're taking n objects and arranging them two at a time. Now, there's no such thing as arranging negative objects at a time. So this one actually does not work. So the value of n, therefore, is 11.